So ladies and gentlemen, that looks absolutely insane. I am so buzzing for that. There are so many cool things on there. So many amazing new things as well by the looks of it. It very much looks like those bases have their own defenses. There's, it looks like there's some sort of airstrike in there as well at some point. I am going to do a full like breakthrough of the trailer tomorrow. Today we're going to have a little bit of a quick look through, see what we can spot in the trailer, and then tomorrow I'm going to have a nice uh, video. I've got loads of stuff planned for that one. We're going to talk about the possibility of these new missions, what they could hold, and the possibility of replayable missions for Generation Zero's future in general. Now, let's have another look at the trailer. We'll go through, we'll break it down, see what's on it. Now, first things first for this trailer is it shows a lot of the map so i do believe that this is going to be something that is worldwide it will be all over and another thing that makes me think that is obviously the way that they are showing the entire map here obviously you've got the archipelago region down there farmlands forest region north coast south coast the whole map is on display here but what they have done which is very very cool is as you can see these dots here this very much resembles the warboards that are in the main bunkers. Now, will we be going to the warboards to activate these missions? I hope so. I really do hope so. Because that would be a very, very cool feature for those to bring to bring those warboards back into play. Because they've been hiding in bunkers. We've not really used them for very long. And we need them back. The warboards, I think, was an absolutely amazing feature and a great way of going and finding missions and starting new things up. So if they do bring those back, I'll be very, very excited. Now, the next point to note here is a lot of these structures look very mishmash, very all over the place, which is very nice. That does make me think that they are not prefabs and these are randomly generated. I could be completely wrong there. I hope that I'm not. I hope we see a different base every single time we assault one. Um, but as you can see, they're very the way that they're built with the Phoenix style is very cool. They're definitely going to be nice and robust, which I do like. Another thing to take note of, especially as you can see just here, is, let me just get it just right, there we go. That's a machine gun. Um, that's a light, that's a light, but that is definitely a machine gun there. Um, I don't know what that is, that looks like some sort of EMP trap. So these are going to be very much rival to our bases. It does say that the machines are learning, so they could potentially be using traps against us now, which I would very much like to see very very cool another thing that you will notice as well is at some point you can see the cracks in their actual buildings Let's see enemy bases expanding brilliant another perfect sign that we will be able to use a vast majority of the island to do these although it could just be in the forest region i hope it's not i hope they are generally all over the map but it does look like it from the little snippets that you see some look like farmlands some look like um forest region some look like south coast north coast sorry uh so we definitely i think we'll be seeing them all over the place take it back see there we go that is that's a machine gun right there that is a machine gun mounted on the walls of their base so we are definitely going to have our work cut out for us another thing that i do really really like is the destructible walls just like ours they are easily to be taken down and you can notice on some of the paneling around here as well that it is cracked and damaged but then there was something that i did notice which is very cool and that is the door there as you can see that door goes back up nicely as this hunter comes out the door closes just behind him which is very very cool we're not going to be able to just run straight in go for the core and destroy it i have a feeling we're going to have to destroy the machines first this isn't going to be as simple as getting in and destroying the core. And then, as you can see there, that looks like some form of trap that was popped out of the ground. And there's another one on the left, just there. You can see that there. Don't know what it is. That could potentially just be something like an alert beacon or an alarm that brings in other machines. There's definitely a lot to unpack in this, which I'm very excited to do. And then there, that looks like the central core. So like they have to destroy our van, we're going to have to destroy their central core. Very exciting. I like it. And that, that is new. I don't know what that is that you see there. See, you throw the flare and then all of a sudden, bang, that's got to be an airstrike of some sort. 
It has to be. And then this bit gets me very excited. New base assault missions, side missions, and more. So this is not just going to be about the base assault. We could potentially be seeing a massive range of new side missions to play here. I do have a feeling that the base assault missions are going to be something that is ongoing, something that we'll be able to repeat, continue to play as much as we want, which I'm very, very excited for. There's going to be so much good stuff in this update. It looks very interesting. Like It's going to be packed full of content. Now, the important details here. We don't know when it's going to release, but they have a very sneaky way of dropping a trailer, then suddenly dropping an update next week. When they do updates, when they do do updates, it's normally on a Tuesday. Nah, do do. Um, it's normally on a Tuesday. So, could we be seeing it on Tuesday, which is the 5th, the 5th of April? I doubt it, but there is a possibility that we could see it then. It's... I'm definitely pushing the boat out there with that date, but it, it could be possible. You don't, you never know. Um, I'm hoping, I would like to see it this Tuesday, but at the same time, I don't mind if we have to wait a little bit. So I don't mind either way. I'm very excited to get stuck in and test it out, but waiting is, is perfectly fine. You know, the, the longer things take, and they wouldn't show a trailer unless things are starting to shape up pretty nicely. And hopefully it is coming by the end of April. Obviously we've had, Issues in the past where it's been delayed. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time around. And we shall see. So thank you for watching today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Drop some comments down below. I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to support the channel a little bit further, consider checking out the members tab down below. We'll be back tomorrow at 8pm GMT for some more Generation Zero.